Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to Classy Tacos. Today, we're going to do some extended brake lines for the front and rear. So, I'm going to walk you through that. I think it's a good idea if you have any type of lift and you ever leave the pavement. As soon as that rear end starts flexing, those lines get a little tight, which I'm going to try to show you that here. Um, I went with a company called Headstrong Off Road. Pretty just stainless steel extended line. So, we're going to get that in pretty straightforward. Then, we'll do a single man flush of a uh, all four points so you don't have to pull the rear tires you don't have to take them off but i'm going to do it just because it's easier to film All right, guys, so here we are under the truck. Uh, what we're going to change are these two lines right here. So right now, they seem like they got a good amount of play. So not too many issues here. Everything looks fine. What I'm going to try to do is set the camera up and kind of simulate this dropping so you can see how tight these will get and why it's a good idea to go ahead and replace them. So let's see how I can pull this off. I'm going to set my camera up. Right here and how I'm gonna do this is I'm going to actually lift up the axle I'm gonna put a smaller um, jack stand here so that on the passenger side will it'll simulate going up and then the driver side kind of simulate coming down so we can see how tight they'll get any of these good hits that goes past this and there's a possibility of these getting ripped off so that is why we're changing them today so these are this is the lower bracket here and we're gonna follow that up all the way up to here these are the two upper brackets so we're gonna do these first These uh, upper lines are a bit of a pain to get into. I wanted to show you something from this angle, guys. There are two uh, kind of pressure plate pins, I guess you could call them, on the kind of hold the brake line in place after it's screwed in. The only way that I'm finding to be able to pop them out is to come here over the top, try to hook them with a screwdriver which is still not the easiest thing to do and just kind of tap them out and then once you get them tapped out i'm going to take you down to the bottom so you can see it from the bottom so here you can see the two pins right there they're sliding to move out those need to be removed There's 
one pin. There's one. And and there's two. So you can see I'm already got some fluids and now just gonna done do the rest and cap them real quick with these uh, little caps right here. Alright guys, uppers are in pretty loose. Now we're gonna roll on to the bottom ones down here. Flips out. This guy's out. Taking this guy, putting him in, and let's see if we can get this one in here. Nice. Alright. Head over to this guy now. Flip it out. Let's wipe everything down here real quick. And everything up here before we get our clips in. Wiped. Okay. 
So the way this clip goes is this lip goes forward. So the lip goes front like this. Just kind of holds it nice and tight right in there. Same thing here. Lip goes facing forward. Boom. Just like that. I'm gonna get this bend a little nicer here. Yeah, like that better. Our rear lines are in. All right, so before we bleed anything, we're gonna go do the front ones next. Pretty much the same process. All right, these in the front are a little bit easier it is right here right here is this soft line right here um same thing it just has the potential getting hit here pretty easy so we're gonna just take the clips remove these add the new lines try to do it as quick as possible We are doing our best to be as quick as possible here. One issue you will run into once you remove the clip is the brake line will just kind of turn on you while you're trying to unscrew it. So, but I just like having the clip off for the sake of being able to move a little quicker.
All right. As you can see, the front is a hell of a lot easier than the back. Snap our clips in. Alright, and let's do a quick, quick clean here and tighten these up. Let's start with that and the new ones are an 18. So let's got it. All right. to me now nice clean I don't like how it see how it's up against the frame here I should say this mount we're going to on this end here you can take your 18 and turn the big nut down here kind of get it away from that spot you kind of get it I like it right there so that's where I'm gonna hold that while I tighten the actual little line nut. tight like that between all right let's head over to the other side there we go There's one clip and let's get this top one here. So if you kind of like, you can wedge it on that lip and then the bottom. See how it kind of just slid a little bit? You wedge it on the lip and then the bottom and it will just kind of slide on. And you can get it in between the nut and grab that lip and it will just kind of slide right up.
So there's our new lines. Awesome. Everything is in nice and tight. Now we're going to just bleed the system. Perfect. Now we don't have to worry about anything coming apart. Full drop. All right, so we're going to start our one man brake flush. So it looks like a 10 will work. We're just going to open it. There we go. And there you see air and brake fluid and nice, clean, clear uh, brake fluid. We're going to now go pump the brakes a little bit. So that one has a couple of nice clean pumps. I don't see any air coming in. We're going to now close this guy up. Nice and easy. Perfect. Pop that in. We're just going to make sure our hose is in the brake fluid. We like that curve up. I'm going to break this loose. Got some air and brake fluid, so I'm just going to give it two or three pumps. Yeah. A lot of air came out of there. I like that. So let's uh, lock this. that up should see some air and brake fluid nice we got some old brake fluid too that we're going to be getting out of there so i'm going to give it two nice easy pumps all the way down Good. And let's lock this back up. There we go. Alright. Let's pop this guy out. some air right there a little bit more dirty fluid like that hose is where it's supposed to be it's still in the water awesome all right a couple of pumps in between this too so you know i did fill the reservoir so we're gonna give this a couple of pumps here Nice and smooth all the way down. I saw the air bubbles coming out of there. Let's lock it up. Yeah. Well, 
at this point, uh, we're done. Lines are in. Air has been removed. I might just go back one more time just to make sure all the air is out. So everything's done. I just did a quick wash on it and a quick rinse. Um, so before I put the wheels back on, I just like to wipe everything down. Um, it'll kind of help. I'm going to go for a test drive after I get all this done. Um, once you wipe everything down and remove as much of it as you can, you'll get to see if anything new comes up. So that's all I'm doing right now to see where it could drip from. Everything is torqued. It's time for a test drive. I uh, just got back from the test drive. Everything went great. Uh, did a couple of hard braking. Had no issues. As far as I'm concerned, I'm done. Um, as soon as I got back from the test drive, I always like to pop the hood, check the reservoir, make sure it didn't go down any. And then the second kind of check that I always do is I'll take like a nice clean rag and I'll go through all the fittings that I installed today and I'll see if anything leaked, you know, under the pressure of braking. So we came back clean. I will check it in about a week. I'll do the same thing. I'll look at the reservoir and I'll check the fittings just to see if anything came out. Uh, something else that you could do too is keep an eye on the driveway. So you might see like little drops and then you'll know that you're leaking from there. Uh, overall, it was not a bad install. Let's say the front took like 10 minutes. You do have to remove the wheels, but other than that, it's just a couple of nuts. Pretty easy, pretty quick. Uh, the rear, on the other hand, it was a little bit more difficult, and it's really just because of where the bracket is on the upper line. Just to get to it was a little difficult. I'm actually curious to see what it's going to look like on, on video because I have no idea if I actually got it for you. There was a point there where I had my face up against the frame to be able to see through and be able to work two wrenches to get them out. But other than that, it really is just a couple of nuts and bolts. So it wasn't anything too difficult. The location makes it tough. Um, I will have the links to the steel braided. I will have the links to the braided lines below. So if you have any questions for me, just go ahead and drop them in the comments for me and I'll see what I can do to get back to you. Overall, not bad, and I just feel a little bit more secure now on the trails. I will say what made me do this was one of the last trails I went on, I had a Tacoma in front of me. Um, one of the mud pits that he went through, it looked like the rear end flexed like a good amount. And that's why I was like, all right, let me just not play anymore and get these done. So hope you enjoy. Stay classy. Stay classy.